What is up, Midway Mayhem fans? This is Dan, and we have... Lauren. And Lauren, we're in Miami right now. Is there a special reason for that? We're going on board the Mariner of the Seas. That's right, guys. So we have Royal Caribbean ship right behind us, and we're going to be going to Nassau as well as their private island, Coco Cay. There's a lot of stuff to see, eat, and do. Are you really excited? Uh, you bet I am. Alrighty, guys. So we're going to be doing a full ship tour and review. Let's go. Well, hopefully you guys are ready because we are about to take our tour inside the ship and we are starting on deck one, which is where the medical facility is and some of the crew stuff. So think of it like this way. The medical facility here is like a floating hospital and it does have hours of operations, but of course for emergencies, they'll be able to take care of you. Also located on level one is the boarding area, which is directly in front of us. Deck two, which is gonna have your conference center as well as your state rooms. And we can see right here on deck two, the conference center is located towards the front of the ship. Just in case you didn't believe us, see, there's a conference center. All right, so here are the hallways. They can seem a little bit narrow, but sometimes you get some cool stuff in here, like artwork. And why would we talk about artwork? Well, when it's involving amusement parks, we talk about it. So there is a bumper car. And check this out, just around the corner, a roller coaster. And here's a really rare thing. It's Ghost Rider. And that is the first drop without a cover on it. That's kind of neat, actually. Deck three, which is where we can find the art gallery, the focus photo gallery, Studio B, which is where they have the ice show and late night entertainment. There's also the dining room and the Royal Theater as well. Studio B is where you can find the ice show as well as some late night entertainment like dancing. Let's go take a look. And right off the bat, this is a heck of a control center. That's kind of neat. Just around the corner over here, looks like we have a bar. And thunderous applause. Yes, the dining room and we can see right here a little backdrop and if you want photos they can take it right here they also have these neat little things throughout the ship where you can find out where things are and know which place to go over here is a TV screen that shows the menu for what's being served today and there are some things that are dedicated as in they're here every single day and then there's new things that they add as well you also can check chops Jamie's the dining room Johnny Rockets and uh, the Asian cuisine, which is the hibachi place. But see right over here, this is the uh, main entry for it. So there's two styles of dining where you can choose a time that you wanna actually have dinner every single night, or you can do something called my time dining, which is generally what I do because I don't know if I wanna eat at 5.30 or if nine o'clock is gonna happen.
Something else to note with the main dining room is there are three levels. We can see the second one right here, which is what we're standing on. And then they have the third up there. So here is the Focus Photo Gallery, and you can purchase your photos that were taken on the cruise of you and your friends and family as well, right over there at those screens. But you can purchase pieces of art right here. And there's some pretty unique stuff. I have seen some Disney things, and we'll show you that in just a second. But there's some really beautiful pieces in here. They also sell all sorts of camera stuff over there at the photo gallery, so you can physically buy GoPros and other items of camera equipment. As we can see, there is a lot of art gallery over here. It looks very, very nice. See even some of this right here, like the uh, New York area. More art over here. <laughs> Einstein. Kitty. Yeah, kind of neat. And then just right over here, as we can see, is that Disney. Also located here at the Focus Photo Gallery is a portrait studio called Picture This. So you can have a more personal studio setting right there. Deck 3 has the Royal Theater where you can watch several films that are actually out in theaters right now. And through these doors, it's actually playing Marvel's Avengers Infinity War right now. Deck 4, which features the Schooner Bar, Azumi, Casino Royale, Starbucks, Boleros, and the second level of the Royal Theater. We also have the second level of the dining room as well. Schooner Bar, which is kind of a neat nautical bar. They do have trivia, which is what we see right in front of us. Harry Potter trivia. Azumi, hibachi and sushi. Let's go take a look. So again, this is the hibachi place. We can see a couple different stations set up. Just like all your Benihana's and things like that. And I'm sure they serve up some very delicious food. Bond. James Bond. Oops, sorry, wrong movie and thing to talk about. But we do have Casino Royale here. So, do you have the need to gamble? Do you want to maybe win some money? Feeling lucky? Well, they do have a casino and it's called Casino Royale. You can get your drinks. They do have poker, roulette, your slots, all your normal games that you would find in Atlantic City or Vegas. It's just right here on the ship. So that's kind of neat. This area of the floor is see-through, and it looks like we have a roulette wheel down here. Also located on deck four, Starbucks. For those of you that need coffee, well, you're in luck. And directly across from Starbucks is Boleros, which is their Latin kind of lounge. They do have some uh, salsa dancing right over here. Also located on deck four are some of your outdoor activities, like shuffleboard. Just in case of emergencies, we do have life rafts, and these are more like life vehicles because they have little propellers on the back of them. But during the mustard drill, which is at the very beginning of the cruise, they have certain areas where you're supposed to meet up in order to, of course, know where your life raft is. We see right here B7. So on their cards, guests can see where they're supposed to meet up and line up. It would be like right here for them. Well, we're pretty much at the end of deck four, and there's something else we need to talk about. They don't really advertise it or show it on the maps, but there's something over this direction that might be kind of neat. What is it, Lauren? What are we going to do? The helipad. The helipad. The helipad. So you're telling me we're going to go to the very front of the ship and do our, like, Jack from Titanic moment? Maybe. Let's do it. And here we are, on the helipad. And then check out this view. That's really kind of neat.
king of the midway! Having fun? Yes. It's a good time. Sorry yeah. for that, guys. I had to be a little bit of a, a jack moment. <laughs> now we're starting to get into some of the more interesting decks, and we have deck five here, which has the Cafe Promenade, the Royal Promenade, Playmakers, which is a eatery, Promenade Shops, Barnacle and Barrel Pub, Bamboo Room, Guest Relations, Shore Excursions, as in you can do different things at your ports that you uh, drop off at, Next Cruise, as in what do you want to do for your next cruise, you can actually book them here while on board. They have the Library and the Star Lounge. And this right here in front of us, ladies and gentlemen, is the Royal Promenade. Deck 5 is also the area where you can get a really grand view of all the elevator systems here, leading all the way to the top. 14 stories. Shore excursion. So if you have a port of call during your trip, well, guess what? You can come right here while on board the ship and book some different things. So they have cabanas, they have water uh, rentals, things like that, jet skis, parasailing, zip lining adventures, whatever you name it. But you can book it right here if you haven't already done so in advance. So maybe you're antisocial and you don't want to come down here and talk to somebody. Well, guess what? They have an app for it. You can book your shore excursions right off of it. Then we have Next Cruise, which again, if you're already on a cruise, you can save some by booking in advance, right here. Some discounts are better than others, some are not that great, but of course, check and see. So something we do see here is a banner showing off Perfect Day at Coco Cay, which is something we really want to cover in the future. The tallest water slide in North America, as we can see on that giant structure right there. They're going to have cabanas, wave pools, kids area, you name it. Just like any major theme park, they're going to have guest services or guest relations. Well, Royal Caribbean has that as well. Well, let's take a stroll down the promenade and see what we can see. And we know there's a bunch of shops. We have Port Merchants, which is where you can get your alcohol and things like that. We also have uh, different watches for sale, up to 75% off for some things. We'll go over here again, Port Merchants. And here's where you can buy all your alcohol, some of your toiletries as well, like toothbrushes. But yeah, you can also get your cigarettes in here as well. Next shop here, we have jewelry and watches. Regalia, I believe, is how it's pronounced. You can take a look real quick. They do have Levian diamonds and some of your more finer diamonds and jewelry in here. The market over here where you can find some casual t-shirts, things like that. And directly across from it is the bamboo room. And it's kind of a bar. Nicer setting, low light. Next up is going to be Solera Beauty, and I do apologize for the loud live music, but hey, it's entertaining. So let's go take a look at some of the different things in here. I can already smell the perfume. And there we go. There's a whole bunch of it, including makeup as well. As soon as you enter the Barnacle and Barrel, you're going to feel like you're in an old English pub, and it looks really, really neat. If you're an ice cream fan, you're in luck. We have Ben and Jerry's. Then we have the Cafe Promenade, which is where you can get your sandwiches and some pizza. We'll go take a quick look as we see some of the fruits, vegetables, cheese, and the sandwiches right over here. And it all looks really, really good. There's the pizza. Playmakers Bar and Grill, which is an upcharge, so keep that in mind. It's not free, so you are going to need to pay a cover charge, but you can walk in here, get your different drinks, and watch some of your favorite teams play on the TVs. They also have billiards and some other games over here as well. Star Lounge, which is where they have a couple different activities. Today is going to be Bingo! 
go check it out. And if you're a bookworm, they have you covered with the library. Each ship has a theme, and one thing that we've seen on this one, a lot of cars and Cuban references. Deck 6, which is where the staterooms are, including all the way up to Deck 10, and Deck 6 is where our stateroom is located. In fact, let's go take a look real quick. Well guys, now comes the moment of truth. We are about to check out our stateroom, and we can see it's right here, 6387. So let's take a look inside. All right, so here we go. This is an interior room, and right off the bat, it actually looks pretty spacious. Pretty happy with this, I can see. Special little towel monkey. Yeah, that's kind of a nice touch right there. But here we have a king size bed. And it is essentially two doubles here, here, combined into one to make the king size. I do have the uh, lamps over here off to the side. There's two different lighting options the main lamp on the top and a smaller one on the bottom, it looks like. Some drawers on the sides. Nice little TV right here. And this does swivel so you can be laying in bed watching. Lots of uh, storage space and vanity area right here. And there's even, as you can see, a safe for some of your uh, more personal belongings there. Some of the mirrors you can open. They do have complimentary water and drinks, it looks like. Nice little couch area here, just to kind of relax. Let's check out the bathroom. So here is the bathroom. And uh, the shower itself, well, it's kind of smaller. We're not looking at too many crazy things when it comes to this. Turn on the lights to get a better view. And here's the uh, main sink area with all the mirrors. Small, but then again, you're not going to really spend a whole bunch of time, hopefully, inside the bathroom. But that is it. So again, stateroom is uh, kind of on the smaller side, but I'm sure it's going to be just fine for our trip, as most of the fun is going to be had outside of the room. Throughout the ship, there are a couple signs showing your directional location, as in, you are here. It shows aft and forward and location with the rooms. Well, fast forward through all the other staterooms, and we have Deck 11, which is where the spa and fitness center is, staterooms, solarium pool and bar, dive shop, main pool and bar, chops grill, Jamie's Italian, and Windjammer is all located. And here's the spa. Let's go take a look. Worried about those extra pounds that you're going to put on during the cruise, or maybe you just want to get your gains. Well, guess what? They have the gym right here with an excellent view. Located up the staircase is where all the spa is, and uh, well, I'm not going to be weird and film up there, but just letting you know. Just through this door of the solarium, well, guess what? There's an access way directly over here where we're going to go check out some really cool stuff. What a beautiful view of the ocean from here. And there's also a really neat view over here. So we have the gem located right there, but just down these steps, well, guess what? We're gonna get a view into the bridge area where the captain actually steers this giant ship. There we can see a couple of screens on there. The helm with either the captain or the first mate. And then some information about the bridge as well right here. So you can see their uh, pilot chair, central arm panel, different information about as well. And then we have a map on here showing our actual location. So this is the solarium, which is an adult only area. They have a spa as well as a pool area. So if you don't want all the screaming kids, come here. Towel stand.
station, which is where you can use your C-Pass card to get one for free. But if you don't return it, they're gonna charge you. And over here, we do have the Five Star Dive Center. So they have goggles, different things that you can buy for going into the pools. Located right next to the Five Star Dive Center and where you can rent all your towels, well guess what? There is a lifeguard station over here for the little kiddos to get fitted with life jackets. Wanting to cool down just a little bit with some ice cream and frozen yogurt? Well, we have the Arctic Zone located on the pool deck. Here's a little bit better look at the pool area. We do have a little stage right here where there is live music from time to time. And they also have a pool bar right there. Next location here on the pool deck is the Dog House. And there are limited hours. We can see right here, 11.30 to 6.30. But you can get a couple different things like a Coney Island, Big Apple, German, and the Smokehouse which are basically the beef, pork, chicken, and the mix. And you can get the different condiments and toppings right here. So if you're not eating in the main dining room, well, where else are you gonna eat? Well, we have Windjammer, Chops Grill, and Jamie's. That's located right this way. Important to note are the hours of operations. As we can see, breakfast 7 to 11 a.m., lunch is 11.30 to 3 p.m., afternoon snack 3 to 4.30, dinner is 6 p.m. to 9 p.m., and late night snack is 10.30 to 12.30. Sanitation is very important, so they have wash stations right here before you go into the main dining area. Washy washy! Just off to the left from when you enter is Jamie's. And just across from Jamie's is Chop's Grill, which is my personal favorite place to eat on the ship. And this is Windjammer with the main dining area. Check out all those desserts. Yum. Oh man, they even have a chocolate fountain. Garden greens for your salads from the baker's oven for your breads, things like that, and cold cuts. Then over here we have the main entrees, and of course, thirst quenchers for all your drinks, non sodas, things like that. On the Mediterranean, which is going to have some different things over here. Take a look at these beautiful watermelon sculptures. From the griddle, so if you're not interested in all the things that they do for a nightly basis, well, of course, they have your regular hot dogs and hampers, just in case. Oh, man. Holy crepe. Look at this. We have a crepe station right here. <laughs> One second, I will show you. Absolutely. This is the Crepe Master. Crepe Master, and he made me one earlier. It was really good, so I promise you, they are delicious. Who are you gonna call? Crepe Master. Crepe Master. Yeah. <laughs> so again, they have all the uh, toppings, condiments, things like that right here. And this guy is doing some fabulous work right now. Yes. Thanks, Chef. So a couple minutes later, and uh, we'll have ourselves a crepe. Deck 12, where you can find the jogging track, sky lounge, spa and fitness center, state rooms, adventure ocean for kids, video arcade, nursery, the living room, Johnny Rockets, Voyagers, and fuel. One of the neater things that I've seen on this cruise ship is this television screen, but it's more of an informational screen. Our beautiful model right here, Lauren, is going to demonstrate some things. So what do you do on the ship? Well, click, what do you do? And it literally shows different times and different activities. And guess what? If you don't know where it is, you can click map it. So if there's like 80s music trivia or even the ice skating, well guess what? There's directions and it'll literally map it out right there. So that's one thing. And then say you're a little bit hungry or something like that. Well, guess what? Dining. And it brings up the different locations. Again, you can map it, things like that. And then if we head back, See, there's also stateroom finder, restroom finder, cruise compass, all that sort of stuff, but a lot of neat things you can find on this screen. Two things right off the bat here. We have Challengers Arcade and Adventure Ocean Club. So uh, that's for kids, and here's the arcade right off the bat. 
They have some old school games, as we can see. Galaga and Mrs. Pac-Man. Oh, man. And this thing, Plucky Ducky. It's crazy old school games. Same with this one. Look at this. Traction Time. I remember playing this as a kid, and here it is. That's kind of neat. Deal or No Deal. A couple other games over here as well. It's a decent size arcade. We have Air Hockey, Ski Ball, it looks like. There are some prize games as well. There we go. This is the arcade. And located right next to the arcade is Explorers, which is for kids 6 to 8. The living room, which is specifically for kids 12 to 17, as we can see right here. Then we have another area over here, Voyagers, which is for kids 9 to 12. And then we have Fuel which is basically the kids and teens club. Just like the other locations for the kids, we have Royal Babies and Tots. Another dining location here, we have Johnny Rockets, and it's located right next to the arcade. One thing to keep in mind is it does require an additional cover charge. If treadmills are not your thing, well, good news, they have an outdoor running course as well. Deck 13, which is gonna have the sun deck, Mariner Dunes, the sports court, Sky Climber, Flow Rider, Perfect Storm, and the Rock Climbing Wall. Alrighty guys, so we're checking out some of the stuff here on the top deck, and we have the Sky Pad, which is like a little uh, trampoline bungee jump kind of thing. And they do even have virtual reality. Alrighty guys, so we just did the Sky Pad, Lauren and myself. We both did the VR experience. You did what? I did the candy one. And what was that like? Uh, basically you jumped on candy, it was in the air, so as you jumped, you hit the candy. That's kind of interesting. Yeah. And then I had one that was kind of like a sports game, where there was this giant robot and it was shooting like soccer balls at you, and you had to focus with your eyes. So if you looked at it, it would destroy the uh, targets in a sense. But Skypad is really kind of neat. I did enjoy it. However, I will say one thing, and I think you're kind of in agreement. Yeah. Uh, it pinches the inside of your thighs a little bit. So uh, be mindful of that. You also have to make sure that you are completely dry, okay? Cannot go in the pools, cannot do a spa or anything else like that. You have to be completely dry in order to do the attraction. But overall, I thought it was pretty fun. It's kind of neat to have it here on the ship. Just in case you want to play some hoops or some soccer, we do have a full-size court here. Kind of nice. Just like what we saw on some of the lower decks, there are some outdoor games here, like checkers and tic-tac-toe. Are you a fan of ping pong? They got you covered. Well, before you do the Flow Rider, they do give you a couple instructions on the sheet of paper before you head on out. All right, so this is Lauren's first time ever on a Flow Rider. She has never done this, so it could be really good or really bad. We shall see. There she goes. <laughs> She's bodyboarding! <laughs> Go again, are you going? How was it? That was kind of neat, huh? Go. You going? Okay. And 
right, here she goes for her second try. And <laughs> off to the side. <laughs> There we go, third time's the charm. And it looks like she's done. Woo! Woo! Stop it! <laughs> like Titanic over here. saw the boogie board now we are seeing the flow board which is their version of surfing So you've done the sky pad and you've done the flow rider, what's next? Well, you have the perfect storm water slides, which is what Lauren is about to do right now. She's actually up there, right over there, waiting for it. She'll be down in just a second. Also located on this deck is a little kids area where they have some hammocks right here and a climbing section. If you're a fan of rock walls and climbing, well they have you covered also. Deck 14, which is one of the highest levels of this cruise ship. You have a couple different things up here. Let's go take a look. 
the suite lounge, as in, if you have a suite on this cruise, well, you have special access to this lounge. Ellington's, which is a dance club at night, and they also do other functions here as well. Now, this is also known as the Viking Lounge. They do have a bar up here, and then directly over here, we have something called the Diamond Club, where if you're a Diamond member, just like the Sweet Club, you can go in here. There's one more level on this ship, and that is level 15, and unfortunately it's blocked off right now because it's not in operation, but we have an escape room, and it's called Puzzle Break Center. It is an additional charge, so keep that in mind. If you're not a fan of watching the movies down in the theater, well, you can watch them right here on deck. Just in case you forgot what ship you're on, Mariner of the Seas. Alright, so they already have one bar here at the pool. How about another? The Sky Lounge. But not a bad view of the movies either. One of the last things to physically check out on this ship, and that's Mariner Dunes, which is their little mini golf course. Also located up here is a shower and loungers. And here's the mini golf course. It's one of the smaller courses with nine holes, but hey, it's still fun. George might let us on his own. A buyer like that on the black market is worth a fortune. Good. We need access to everyone. Absolutely. We have a full cooperation. Everybody. I've been down animal poachers, Africa, India, South America. I got to see how people really are. Something also kind of neat is check this out. The elevators have the date right there on the ground. Well, this is a bit different. In the Bahamas, we were looking for something to do, or at least uh, some craziness, and we kind of found it. So there's a VR area here, and they have all sorts of games. So you can uh, ride roller coaster simulations, you can do uh, Fortnite, things like that, and they also have, say, like the combat games, where you can walk around with the VR as well. So here's the name of the location, Play City, and as we can see, the prices, single rider is 15, two riders 25, you save $5 on the two riders, and they have some other options as well, but again, Play City, they have all sorts of VR stuff.
Well, guys, that is going to do it for our video here from the Royal Caribbean's Mariner of the Seas, Lauren. Yeah. I had a really awesome time. I cannot thank you enough for joining me on this voyage. What are your overall thoughts about the ship? I love the Mariner. It's a great ship. Lots of activities. Flow Rider, you got the Sky Pad. Ports of call are amazing. Yeah, there are a lot of neat things to do. My personal favorite thing was probably the Flow Rider. I had a lot of fun with that. Of course, with us being an amusement park related uh, channel and everything, it kind of fit right in for us. There are a lot of things to do for all the age ranges, though. It doesn't matter if you're a kid or a senior. Uh, really great varieties here. The food is really phenomenal, too. In fact, Chops, tell yeah. me a little bit about that. Uh, Chops is known for their steaks. So the steaks were amazing. You can choose from like a ribeye, uh, you got the T bone. Those are amazing. You got the sauces to choose from. So chops, it's an upcharge, but it's worth it. Yeah, I mean, food options are really great here. Uh, this is my third cruise, at least for Royal Caribbean, and I can't even count how many that you've done. But <laughs> yeah. overall, we got to say really phenomenal vacations that you can do with these uh, cruises. And we hope to do another one very soon. In fact, perfect day at Coco Cay yes. is on our agenda. We're hoping that we might actually be uh, one of the first people to go there. So that's supposed to open up in May. So fingers crossed. Ooh. We'll actually have a chance to do that. So I do want to say again, thank you to uh, Royal Caribbean for providing us a great trip. And uh, thank you to my partner in crime, Lauren, Yay. for, of course, uh, joining me on this voyage. Always. But uh, that's going to do it, guys, for us here from Midway Mayhem, from the Mariner of the Seas, Royal Caribbean. If you like what we do, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter at Midway Mayhem. And I will see you out on the Midway.